What's going on fellow droid addicts? Today we're going to be taking a look at our top five favorite applications for rooted Android devices. You must be rooted to run any of these applications and we're going to present them kind of in a random way so it's not going to be our most favorite to our least favorite or anything like that. So let's jump right on into it. The first one we want to take a look at is called ROM Manager. ROM Manager, if you have an Android device, you're probably familiar with it already. There's two different versions on the marketplace. There's a pro version and there's a free version. The pro version is going to get rid of any type of ads that are on the top or bottom here whenever you're looking at this screen. It's also going to allow you to download any and all ROMs that are actually uploaded to the ROM Manager server. So it's going to do a couple of major things for you. It's actually going to allow you to back up your current ROM. So if I click on this, I can actually name the ROM a custom name that I choose. So if I'm running a ROM called uh, Apex or Liberty, then I can name it Apex or Liberty and then it's going to go ahead and name that for me and go ahead and make the backup for me as well. So that way I'm not having to remember exactly on the date what it was that I was backing up. It's also going to allow you to manage and restore your backup. So I have a backup here already. I could actually go and rename that or I can just go ahead and restore it directly from that, that selection there. Another cool part is actually going to allow you to download ROMs and any extras that have been uploaded to ROM Manager directly from the device. So instead of you downloading it from another website and then hooking up your phone to your computer, transferring it over, booting into recovery, doing all that other stuff that just seems like a long and, and hassle process to do, you can actually go in here. So let's say I wanted to download Gummy Jar. It'll pull up Gummy Jar 2.5. I can click on that. It'll go ahead and download for me. Let me know in the uh, notification bar here and it will go ahead and install for me through recovery system. So it's actually a really cool and useful program to use. Definitely a must have if you have a rooted Android device. The next application we want to take a look at is called ShootMe. ShootMe is free in the marketplace and it's actually going to do a couple different things for you. Basically the main thing it's going to do is actually allow you to take screenshots of whatever screen that you're on so you can upload it to your Twitter account, your Facebook, share it with a friend through an email, or share it any way that you really want to because it's just going to save it as a picture in your gallery. The other thing is that they just added, added a feature called continuous screencast which is basically going to take like a 10 frame per second, 30 frame per second kind of uh, pictures to kind of make a little on, you know, on the screen video if you're wanting to show off an application or upload that to YouTube. So you have uh, three different options you can actually start this up. So right now I have it set on the shake. So I can just shake my device and it'll take a picture for me really nice and easy. It basically saves you a lot of time from hooking it up to your computer and having to go through all the process just to take a screenshot. It's kind of a hassle and it's definitely going to save you a lot of time. You can also take a picture by covering up the light sensor or uh, making a loud noise in the microphone here, however you have it set up. Another application we want to take a look at is called Titanium Backup. So if you're flashing a lot of ROMs or themes on your phone, Mainly, the big part of that is actually deleting your entire system, which is going to delete all your applications. And it's kind of a hassle to go through the marketplace and try to remember all the applications that you had and trying to find them and re-download them. It's just a pain in the butt to actually do. So what Titanium Backup allows you to do is you can see all the applications that you here, have here. And one cool thing it's going to allow you to do is if I click on one, I can actually freeze the application if you have the pro version. There's a free version and a pro version. I can actually go ahead and uninstall it. I can wipe the data, run the app, or just make a backup of that one particular app. I can also hit menu and then click batch. And it'll actually allow me, allow me to make a batch of uh, backup apps or make a batch of uh, going ahead and restoring those apps and their data. So it's a really useful tool. Definitely going to save you a lot of time if you're into Flash and ROMs or themes because like I said, you have to wipe your entire system and this just saves you a heck of a lot of time. Another application we want to take a look at is called AdFree. It is free in the marketplace and basically what it allows you to do is download and install hosts. That way it will actually block any ads that are on a lot of applications and in the web browser. So I've already got it done on my phone. If I hold down Home and go to Browser, I've already got AOL.com pulled up and if you zoom in, zoom in here, we can actually see this is where an ad should be but it's actually not there. So it's going to allow me to actually load up my web pages a lot faster and it makes it look and give it more of a cleaner interface. That way I'm not having to worry about any ads that are in the side here. 
The last application we want to show you is called Wireless Tether. Now a lot of users will actually root their Android device just to have something like this. Basically what it allows you to do is turn your phone into a mobile hotspot. So all you got to do is just click Start to Tether and it's going to go ahead and boot it up for us and it's going to give us a nice little uh, two boxes here to show us the download and the upload that's actually being used. You can encrypt this connection so you can actually set up a password that way other people aren't jumping on and using up your data or slowing you down from anything that you're wanting to do. You can use this to hook up wirelessly to a computer, a wireless camera, another cell phone, or a, a, you know, a, a MP3 player that has Wi-Fi enabled on it, anything that you want to use. A lot of people love this application. It is free in the marketplace and it's just a great way, that way you can stay connected on the go for free. And uh, if you're on a, uh, a, a carrier like AT&T that's actually going to use some data caps, this is a great tool right here. That way you know you're not going to go over that data cap and you can kind of jump off just by clicking the Stop Tether button there. So that's all we've got for you today, guys. Make sure you check out droidaddict.com for everything that is Android. And check us out on Twitter. I'll put the links of uh, both the site for the article for this and our Twitter down in the underbar. It's twitter.com backslash droidaddict. Make sure you check out the site, guys. We've got a lot of cool things on there, and there's definitely more to come. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up.